Hey there, y'all. We're headed out to uh, Game Exchange. It's uh, they have a, a fairly decent usual movie selection. I haven't seen a lot there lately. Uh, the best thing I have got there, I bought the uh, one of those huge uh, movies to die for or a horror fest box sets once. Uh, was running for about like 80, 90 bucks online at the time, and I got it for five dollars. So that was a really good buy. But uh, recently, I haven't been able to find a lot there. Uh, there are a few places that I would not mind checking out, but I'm not going to get to a lot of them today. Well, right now, Game Exchange might be it. So uh, let's uh, just head that way and see what we can find. Uh, they don't usually have a good uh, trade in a, like a price range. They're uh, traded for DVDs is pretty sad, and uh, they do have a few Blu rays every once in a while come in that I wouldn't mind picking up. Uh, if they give a good trade on Blu-rays, uh, I do have a few Blu-rays that I can not trade in. And uh, they did have a few sets there that I was uh, kind of like that I wanted. Uh, they had a couple of Blu-ray sets of uh, some series that I wanted at for really cheap prices as well, like, you know, $9.99, $6.99, stuff like that. And actually for Blu-ray sets, so like complete series, not complete series, but complete seasons. And uh, hopefully the, there'll be something there uh, that that way, at least something that'll pique my interest, that'll give me a, try and make me decide if I want to actually trade something in. So uh, right now we're going to hit up there, and I'm going to come back again, and I uh, don't know if I'm going to be doing some video in there or not, because uh, it's kind of a smaller place, and uh, I'm not quite sure about management there, so uh, if I can, I'll get some video in there, if not, but I doubt I'll be talking if I do get a video in there. Uh, so, uh, I'll do a video once I get back out and let you know exactly what I saw and if there's anything there at all. So, uh, here we go. So, we just came out of a uh, game exchange and actually they're trading right on Blu rays. It's, it's okay, it's like uh, three three bucks a Blu ray type thing. But uh, they're trading right on uh, game gaming devices. I've got a 3DS, so uh, I'm looking to upgrade that to the uh, Vita before the PlayStation 4 comes out. <laughs> and hopefully before, well, Uncharted Golden Abyss is still on the uh, PlayStation Plus uh, thing. That's my big thing right now. I don't want to pay for Uncharted. I really want to play it. And I want to have the uh, PlayStation beat Uncharted Golden Abyss game. And uh, it's free on PlayStation Plus right now. So, uh, but it's been on there for a while. So I'm going to be looking towards trading in to get uh, the Vita so that I can actually uh, kind of like play it. Just and then I work towards uh, waiting for my PS4. <laughs> but uh, right now, I'm going to take a check into uh, a place that uh, is quite the favorite of my uh, my better ass. Actually, she hates it. And yeah, she's not big on pawn shops at all. Uh, but uh, she's nice enough to let me go in there. And it's uh, called, uh, well, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's not called Hell <laughs> Traders. It's called Traders. Uh, so I'm going to check that out. and. Uh, definitely cannot bring the camera here. I think I want to trade it. And I'll be back out in a few minutes and let you know what I found. I know that I found stuff that's really cool there before. And actually, I'm going to check how much chains I got to mess up because there's something that's very extra cool in there. I'll uh, be back in a minute and uh, let you know what I've seen. So, uh, anyway, we uh, had quite the adventure traders. I went inside. My uh, girlfriend waited outside and uh, basically, uh, a few minutes later, she was in inside the uh, store, and she never comes into the pawn shop, so I knew something was, was definitely wrong. Uh, and she looked well, pretty much white as a ghost. So there's this dude, came along, was a drunk or mental or just a complete asshole, and like, like hit the back of our SUV and kind of shook it a bit. <laughs> then he like took off. Uh, so she comes inside, like freaked out. Uh, I gotta like, I calm her down. Uh, and uh, then I peek outside because she tells me not to go look. But anyway, I go peek outside, see if there's anybody out there. And he's, of course, the coward's taken off. Uh, anyway, you know, some people are just crazy freaking assholes no matter where you go. Anyway, I uh, just uh, I came out of Traders. I found, uh, found some stuff. And uh, I may have found something actually for somebody's birthday. Hmm. So I'm going to go uh, to, uh, there's a local place around here. I may check them out. And uh, if they're not open, I'm just may drop in Fred's Records. They usually have uh, 
some pretty good stuff. I have found like some pretty cool things there. That's where I found my copy of uh, The Most Dangerous Game, the Ray Harryhausen version, and where I found my uh, copy of, uh, oh god, what was it? The, the uh, five, six, some, 50 Degrees to Sod, whatever it was called, that was the Blue Underground version. And it's the DVD that actually had moods 616 on my channel. So right now I'm going to, uh, we're going to check that out and uh, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll, might be on there one more time and then I'll show you whatever, what I got in my hall when I get home. So we're basically headed down to Fred's right now because uh, the other store isn't open. He kind of has uh, erratic hours and he does have some really cool stuff in there. So uh, Fred's is our last uh, stop for the day because my girlfriend is on uh, well, my better half. She's been working extremely hard today and uh, she's an industry liaison, which is not the easiest job, especially when you're uh, working uh, for in with industry and trying to get like uh, funding and stuff for uh, different organizations. She has the fancy job. So uh, this is, by the way, this is a little bit of St. John's, just to let you see uh, where we're, uh, <laughs> what we're doing. Hopefully this is getting the sound of it here. I think it looks like it's turned up right. So uh, we're going to be headed to Fred's. And more than likely, my ultra patient girlfriend is going to uh, better have some wait outside. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye on her because I'm a little uh, wary after uh, what just happened. So uh, I'll see you in a minute. So we just came out of Fred's Records and didn't see a lot there. I saw a Boris Karloff set, but I'm not sure if I've got it or not. And I saw a Boarding Gate. A Z Argento. It's by Magnet. And the Magnet puts out a lot of really good releases. They put it uh, let, <laughs> let me in. And uh, so that was tempting. And there's a, a Japanese one there called Portrait of Hell. I want to check it out a little bit more before I decide whether it's something I want to pick up or not. <clears throat> but the uh, Boris Karloff one was the most intriguing, but I'm pretty sure I got it. I think the only Boris Karloff one I've got left to get is the one with the Honda string on it. But uh, I'm going to go home and check that out now. So uh, you'll see me at home and I'll show you what I got today. <coughs> hey there, so I am back home now. And it's uh, time to show what I got. All the stuff I got today was the Traders. And, uh, just one second. Yes, I did have that Boris Karloff set. So, uh, I do not need to pick that one up, which is good. Save my cash. I will be going into Value Village tomorrow. So, uh, I'll let you know how things go there. I picked up a couple here. They're, uh, they get stickers off these things. But, uh, they were like three each or two for five. So, it's pretty decent. Uh, collect Midnight Movies. And, uh, this is The Beast Within and the Bat People, and uh, pretty cheesy stuff. Uh, Beast Within is a favorite of mine. I think this one actually may be coming out on Blu-ray, but I really wanted this to have this edition with this uh, poster as well, and uh, this really goes good with my minute movie collection, but uh, Bat People definitely will not be coming out on Blu-ray, so uh, uh, it's good to have both of these here, <laughs> finally. Now, this is a really cool one. The next one's a midnight movie, but it's uh, different. Um, this called this Devils of Darkness and Witchcraft. And I'm sure if you haven't seen this one, you don't have it, you probably wouldn't be aware of this. But uh, as you know, most of the Midnight movies are like this. They're like flipper discs and you know, double features. But uh, this one here actually is a two disc set. Witchcraft, Devils of Darkness. I don't know if there's any other uh, Midnight movie uh, horror ones that were done like this. But, uh, of course, this is like uh, Witchcraft, as you know, Lon Chaney Jr., I think it's when he did it in England. And, of course, uh, Devils of Darkness is also an English horror film. So, I'm uh, really uh, glad to add these to my, not just to my midnight movie collection, but to my English horror collection. Next, that was one I could not pass on, because everybody on this channel knows I'm a huge fan of uh, Phantasm. And, uh, of course, the director of Phantasm is uh, Don Coscarelli. Now, uh, so... This is going to somehow have to fit into my Anchor Base ones because this is Beastmaster. Yep, uh, the original Beastmaster. It's the Divimax edition. Uh, what's really cool, it's the inside here, is that it actually has the, uh, the booklet and mini poster uh, with it. So uh, there's no way I could pass a Beastmaster. I'm a huge, huge Coscarelli fan. Next up is uh, it's kind of a cheesy one. I watched the documentary on this guy, and I <clears throat> these retro media ones are harder to get nowadays. Actually, some not impossible most of the time to get. And I picked up Fiend. I uh, don't know a lot about the film itself, but.
but I do know a lot about the director. I watched the uh, documentary on him. Unfortunately, uh, Don Dolor has passed away now. Uh, it's got a blooper reel, still gallery, and uh, of course it's by Retromedia, so you know, it's uh, kind of cheesy looking. <coughs> and the next one, I could not believe I found this one for three bucks. Um, I like Wes Anderson. It's not my all-time all favorite Wes Anderson film, but I do collect Criterion. And it was really, really cool to get a Criterion for this price for three dollars. And I'll definitely uh, get a watch it. I think there was a two disc edition of this, but for me, it does. I'm not really doesn't matter that like Fear and Loathing. I want the two disc edition, but a Life Aquatic, I can go with the one disc edition of that. <coughs> and it's the Life Aquatic. Uh, it's a uh, it's a Wes Anderson movie. Good movie. And I would want this one for the movie. The features would not be so big for me. The only feature I want is the commentary by Wes Anderson, which of course is on the movie. So, uh, <clears throat> the first, so it has the commentary, deleted scenes, and a stars featurette. Uh, there was a two disc edition of this one put out afterwards. I checked online after about that. But, uh, I'm not so big on the two disc edition of that. Any other Wes Anderson movie, I would be. But as long as I have the film, and this is The Life Aquatic, great movie, uh, great criterion to have. So uh, that's what I picked up today, guys. Uh, tomorrow, it's back to class, uh, so I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to get done, but I'm going to drop in. It's a value village right next to my uh, class, so I'm going to drop in there right after I get to class. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I just got home, so really, really seriously, is a uh, time for tea.